So first of all, we just chuck it straight on. Straight on, we just bang it up to our label there, and then we'll mark it, mark it on the truss, and then we'll know where to nail our nog to after. Like that. And always try and get the most out of the, uh, the out of the ply. So we'll bring it down to that corner there, so that's right. And we'll just go underneath now, mark it. That. And then give that a cut and I'll number these up as well. But that's just one piece there, one piece will do that one. Sometimes you get a couple out of the ply. Give that a cut. Would cut this is the first tip you can uh, then use the ply to mark your timber up so get it flush on its long edge it's flush all the way down there try and be economical with the offcuts you can give that a mark give that a mark and then we'll cut two of them now stick that ply out just be brushing up against your pencil lines like that and you know you will be the same as the plywood <laughs> and you can cut yourself a little bit cut yourself a little bit of ply just to mark your depth that uh, and you know where the top is going to be because we've got that mark for the ply there. Let's give that a depth mark. Same here, all four places. And shoot these in. Keep that a bit high because that's it. You get it to your line like that. Nail, the, nail it far enough back that it's not going to split the wood and it's going through quite a bit so it's pretty strong. Shoot that through that way. This one here, you want to keep it where your line is, keep the top edge right with that line for your ply. Knock it down to your pencil line. Now quite far back at the timber again. Tapping that side. First nail skewed in, so it hits the nog, well, skews it to the truss. I'll just do a couple on the way. There. In, the, in the other video, I showed how we do the valley on the 4v1 like that. And when we come to do the valley boards, it just saves us having to do a nog here. So all we'll do is send the ply down so, so it just hits that forward one, we can fix into that all the way, that's solid, and then we'll just do one nog up there. It needs to be. Just tack a nail in that. Same again. Now I know I'm going to get a couple of pieces out of this side, so I'll get it, get it to the bottom, so I'm not wasting any ply. Give that a mark underneath, and then also, without when you're not moving it, uh, mark that there. 
that's where your pencil line is on the underside. We'll number that up, that's one. Now what you can do is just slide it up so you don't have to do two, so one cut will basically do two sides. So that pencil line now is on the other side of the truss. This will be my second piece. And then mark there. Again, mark the top. So that will be my third piece. And just keep sliding up. And also while I'm here, I'll mark the trusses and then I know where my nogs go. The nogs don't have. And the angle on this side is different, so um, we'll try and keep the wood separate because we know that what the offcut of that will carry on up that right side and the new offcuts will do the left side. Number one, how we do the nub. Again. So keep it flush to the long edge. Basically, the edge that you haven't cut is the edge that you put your timber to. I'll do, number, I'll do number two because I'm going to have to put more knobs in there. Aren't I? I'm going to cut number two. Pencil lines, both pencil lines, that one and that one. Oh, let's get in. That will shot in there. And on the other video as well, I said about keeping these timbers that are underneath the trusses back a little bit, and that's now so we can get this ply in without it hitting there. So all you gotta do now is just slide it up, up or down the roof until it's flush here and here and sat on that 4 by one And just shoot it into that 4 by one and that's not going anywhere. And then we just carry on doing that all the way. So that side's all done now. Um, you'll notice as well, another tip is I mark one on one side and then the other. I sort of go up like that and then you've got somewhere to walk up and down as you're doing it, which makes it slightly easier. It's a bit awkward anyway. Uh, and then we'll fill in this bottom section here when we've done the face run soffit. 
so it doesn't get in the way. But yeah, that's it.